welcome back to the channel everyone i hope you're doing absolutely well this is 80 pack with another video so today is going to be the review of the latest build of pixel experience from cf build for redmi note 3 so without any further ado let's now get started So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the Pixel Experience from CAF build. By the way guys, I've already reviewed the previous build on my channel. Link is in the description. Do check it out. This is just gonna be an update video. I'll not go in depth regarding this review. So let me first show you the about device section by going into the settings menu, the about phone and the android version. As you can see here it is, the android version is obviously 9.0 pi. The kernel is also the same Xtrema X27 kernel version is 3.10.108 and as you can see it says pixel experience and the build date is 7th of May 2019 and this is the CAF official build for the Redmi Note 3, the official one not your unofficial ones. So that was regarding the about device section going back it looks pretty much similar there aren't any major differences and there isn't any major addition or removal of features when compared to previous build and this build detail well-being is also there here as you can see here it is so going back and talking about the fingerprint scanner it works absolutely well i didn't have any issues with that let me show you the speed it's a damn slow thing over here as you can see it's slower than some of the other ROMs too, I don't know for what but yeah, this is the same like it was similar in the previous build too and it continues with this build too, but fingerprint works not an issue with that. So going into the display menu, here is all the options available as you can see the live display. So here the reading mode is also there, as you can see it turns everything into grey cell and it works absolutely well. So let me turn that off and going further down, here are a couple of standard options like the tap to wake, let us try it out. Okay, works well. And you can also change the device theme from here. It's an automatic. You can put it to automatic time of the day, light or dark. It's basically the color of the system UI, which is white right now. If you put to dark, it will become like blackish or dark. So going back and talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. I didn't have any issues with these. These are working absolutely well for me. So going back and talking about the performance in this room, I mean in this build, let me show you the Geekbench really quick, Geekbench score going into the history and here it is as you can see the score is just awesome over here single core i have got a score of 1464 and the multi-core score is the highest of all time as you can see it is able to score 2809 yes guys 809 i haven't surpassed i think 500 2500 on any of the pi roms from when i started geekbench i mean reviewing geekbench also it has scored 2809 that's a really awesome score in my opinion and even the performance is really good in this room there aren't any issues like lags or anything like that day to day usage is really great i didn't have any issues with this room but talking about the pubg gameplay it was not the best of all time but it has been improved guys it has been improved quite a bit from previous build previous build was lagging like crazy but not with this build lags are there here and there but not the major ones it's working absolutely well, I didn't have any issues with that, like unplayable or anything like that, it's working fine. Only the thing is, there is a bit of lag in PUBG gameplay, which I haven't seen in the AOSP builds of Pixel Experience and other rooms. So talking about other things like the battery life, let me show you my battery state really quick. And going into the battery, the battery usage. As you can see here is my battery usage. It's not showing other things, it's just showing the major usage over here, which is PUBG. I played PUBG for around 1 hour and here it says 4%, literally impossible. I played 2 matches guys, 30-30 minutes and for 30 minutes of gameplay, the battery drain was exactly around 12%, 12 to 13%, not more than that. And I also used a couple of other applications, it isn't appearing over here like FM radio etc. FM radio is there, let me show you that really quick, as you can see, you need to connect a headphone in order to use it. That's the thing, that's really good because the quality will be good. And talking about the standby time in this room, I have tested the standby over here and it had exactly drained around 5% of battery for 12 hours of standby and almost around 8% of battery for 21 hours of standby I guess, approximately 21 hours of standby. So this was a quick little review of the Pixel Experience from Let Us Build on the Redmi Note 3. For more information, you can check the link in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I'm active over there, you can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 24 7 signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.